gritty, bleeding triple my city. Don't score with the stealers, no enemy. Hosing some Hennessy, catch us out stomping the yard. Cannon yards, my foot mechanery. See, it's nitty gritty, nigga, keep on getting litty. Two times a week, giving keys to the city. Tune in, get with me. I got that, I got that, see in the game a little differently. Welcome back. Episode 405. Nitty Gritty Sports Talk Radio Show. I go by the name of Rosco English. And of course, I'm here with the flock. Got my guy Keys with me. What's going on? How y'all feeling out there? My man, Nick. Good morning. What's up, everybody? And of course, last but not least, PJ. Let's go. What's going on? Can't complain. Can't complain. Let's get this show started early. Let's get it to the bank. Let's get it to the bank. <laughs> Ravens and Chiefs open up the NFL season 2024. Ravens lose to the Chiefs 27 to 20. Lamar Jackson, 26 completions, 273 yards, added 122 on the ground. Patrick Mahomes, 20 completions, 291 yards, touchdown, and a pick. Fellas, fellas, how we feeling? <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, just, well, again, we can just get this all the way early. You know, he – because everybody keep talking about it, the, the missed doors in the game, whatever. All court, I mean, we, we talked about this a couple of years ago, quarterbacks, you know, missed doors or whatever, you know. Um, of, of course, he would tell you if he can go back and have that play again, I mean, he would he would make the, you know, make the, make a better throw. So let's just get that out of the way because I'm tired of people saying, like, that's t- they trying to use that to define the game. Um, and I wish we'd had it. I mean, of course, we wish we'd had the touchdown today. Um, Lamar has come out and said, well, he was really looking for Bateman, which is why he threw the ball there. I mean, who knows what's true, but – it is what it is. Quarterbacks, quarterbacks mix throws. Um, but to get to the game, um, you you still just you. I mean, it's like you still just a step behind, and like um, in almost every aspect, you just like a step behind. Um, just sloppiness, 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 and it's like you. At the end of the day, we 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 talk about this for years, probably since Nitty Gritty been started. Um, <clears throat> coaching, man, like you you can't. You can't come out. <laughs> you can't come out from the, out the out preseason first play of the game, but then you start getting illegal information penalties all game. Like that's coaching, man. Like you gotta at the end of, at <clears throat> so at the end of the day, you could have went to the half and you could have you could have figured that out. You know, um, I'm pretty sure the NFL told you told every team, every training camp, every organization that we are making this a point of emphasis this year. Um, this this is what you know. Granted, you can argue was it caught fairly? Was it was it caught both ways? Um, did they you know? Cause we we didn't see all we everybody's money more than quarterback. We didn't see all the the breakdowns of he was not he was not there. It is what it is. I'm not worried about none of that. I I want my the culture of my team to have my to have his off, offensive line prepared where that that penalty is not happening seven. To, to have the same penalty seven times is fucking ridiculous. My fault. It's ridiculous. It's it's, it's, it's completely ridiculous. It, it makes no sense. Um, and it comes down to it feel like you're not prepared. Um. Just, just getting out, coach. Just the, it's, it's just the mismatch. It's like the, it's every time you watch the Ravens game, it'd be so many different types of mismatch. Like, like why is the, the biggest player of the game? Why is Justice Hill one on one with Chris Jones? Like, come on, Ravens, you got to do better than that. You know why? You know when you in a a, a, a three point game, um, why do your cornerback think you in in zone and your safety think you a man? Like, come on. And we could chalk that up to being, you know, maybe the first play, the first game of the season. But this is issues that has happened. You know, whether it was week 14 last year, week 10, the week the year before that, it's, it's issues that's not getting cleaned up. Um, but with all that being said, you still had a chance to win the game. Um, you, you still had a chance. You, you still was there. Um, let me talk about Lamar for a little bit because I already talked about it. But like he, he, to me, and this is my personal opinion, he was the best player on the field. Um, you know, he, he was, he was poor. He was put like, you know, to take one sack after being all that, uh, under all that pressure one night, I thought he was very composed. Um, to have almost 400 purpose yards like he look he looks like he he's more decisive as far as you know if it's if i don't see this initially i'm breaking i'm running them and then maybe because number 77 um he, i'm not going to say his name but because number 77 is complete ass and that's probably why he's taking off more um and I, that's probably what you know what, what's happening but you it, it, it comes down to i guess the back to my point about the coaching and the organization and stuff like that. Like, it's no way that you pay somebody that much money and you and you decide to protect them with this line. That, it, that's that's completely ridiculous. If this if the Ravens gotta gotta compete with this line for the rest of the season, they will not make the playoffs. 
as great as Lamar Jackson is, as great as he looked on Thursday, um, looked like an MVP. He played like an MVP. Um, you can't win with that line. The line is ridiculous. It, it, it's like he was literally under constant pressure. It's not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't have the stats in front of me. Um, maybe Nick or somebody do. But the percentage of dropbacks he had when he was under pressure, it, you can't win an NFL like that. You is 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 nearly impossible. Um, is 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 nearly impossible. Chris Jones was in his face all night, and it's because they were just the, the matchup. They was putting him one seventy seven all night, all night. Every play he was inside. It, he he's not even a defensive tackle. It's the defensive end. So the fact that you putting them that you putting them there all night shows you, you know, you know what's what's going on with it. But uh, I mean, first game of the season, I'm not gonna put a lot of stock in. The only stock I'm gonna put in is that it was very sloppy, and I need, you know, the coaches to clean that up. I don't want to come out and have another five illegal formation penalties. And the same like every time they call it illegal formation penalty, the Ravens had just made a big play. So now that was getting called back. Now you not so not only. Not only are you you looking sloppy, but now you you messing up momentum, the momentum that you could have had, you know, that probably would have take away them damn illegal formation penalties. The momentum the Ravens was building up during those times, you probably could have, you, you know, you had a better shot to win the game. You you might have won the game. So like not not we ain't gonna put too much stock in week one. Um, I like what I seen from uh, I think from last year to this year, he looked like he's he's you know in more control of the offense. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's week one, so I don't know what the what the whole Dark Henry plan was, but I, I don't think it came to fruition last night. Um, but like I said, it's week one. Um, and defensively, you just, I mean, like I said, it's first game under a new defensive coordinator, but you got to fill them holes. Um, you got to be able to communicate better, tackle better. We still talking about tackling three years later. We we still talking about always not be able to clean up sacks three years later. Um, it's ridiculous. It, it, you know, the the same is like the I, I think Keith mentioned it. The same things that were happening three years, two years, last year, it, it looks like the same exact team as far as the mistakes, the mistake, the things that happen, things that we complained about, things that we complained about on a day in and day basis, day in and day out basis for the Ravens. It seemed like those things are still happening. Um, so, yeah, so I, it's discouraging. I saw, like I said, the, the sloppiness, but it's very, it, it, the encouraging sign is that your MVP looks like your MVP quarterback. He's always going to look like that. Um, you just wish the outcome was different. You wish likely would have got us toes down. But like you said, um, I'll I'll let you know. I, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna talk on Mike Andrews. I don't have really a lot to say about show, but um, we know who the, the new tight end tight tight end one is in Baltimore. And it should be that way. Um, and you should have rectified that before the season because you could have did other stuff with that money, um, with that position. But he, you you having him out there as a decoy and a bad decoy because he can't block for, for shit. So it's like you you know what what are you using him for? But a lot of encouraging signs. You just you just want to clean up the sloppiness. You you have to clean up the sloppy. You're probably not a sloppy. You like I said, you probably win that game if you're not a sloppy. Yeah, I mean, as far as the Ravens are concerned, I mean, uh, we got to figure out what our identity is on offense. I mean, it looked pretty helter skelter out there. Um, you know, year two of the Todd Munkin system, and it seems like the best play was, um, you know, hoping Lamar just runs around and makes something out of nothing. You know, it seems like the game plan was Lamar, please, or Lamar, save us. And, you know, that's fine because he has that type of talent. But at the same token, Keys mentioned we won't make the playoffs with that offensive line. That's mainly because he's not going to make it through the season healthy if they continue to allow that type of pressure on him. And if he has to take the type of hits that he's taken, you know, put people, uh, defenders are hitting him right in the chest. Uh, they're getting they're getting their hands on them. They were hitting them hard uh, the other night. So that is something that we have to worry about. I mean, I agree. Like, how do you have a hundred eighty five million dollar guaranteed quarterback and you decide to flank him with young, inexperienced offensive linemen? Uh, I say this to say, though, um, we went into Arrowhead against the defending champs on ring night and we battled to the last second we're not that far off the problem is we keep saying we're not far off and the same things that we're not far off by continue to happen time and time and time and time and time again with no change or adjustments so that's the issue here uh lamar jackson he played damn near a perfect game but the blemishes on his game were big you know he missed three touchdown passes throughout the game um two on the final drive even though that last throw was a dart you know, Isaiah likely just couldn't get his feet in bounds. We don't even get to that play if there is a miscommunication with Zay and Rashad Bateman. I personally don't see how you were throwing it to Rashad in that case. Um, I 
tend to believe Zay should have sat on the route as opposed to continuing to go and just find the soft spot. Um, and that was main. That would have seemed to be the main miscommunication. Maybe Lamar was protecting him. I don't know what's going on, but I don't buy the Rashad Bateman thing. Especially on fourth down or on the, on your last down, yeah, you're not looking for Bateman. <laughs> you're not looking for Bateman, right? Let's be let's be honest and for real here. Um, and 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 listen, like I'll go to Bateman. Bateman made a hell of a catch on that drive, but I think he was so surprised to catch the ball, he didn't even have the wherewithal to roll out of bounds or roll forward. And we wasted. And you know, this is another example of Osama bin Harbaugh. We wasted 20 seconds in between that catch, 20 25 seconds in between that catch and. We got up to the line and we ran another play. We didn't, we had a timeout left. And we could have caught that ball, called a timeout, and then had four downs to play with. Instead, we ran a play incomplete, called a timeout. Well, not incomplete. I think uh, it was a completion. We called a timeout. And then from that point on, we only had enough time to run two more plays. So in that scenario, after Bateman's catch, we ran three plays instead of four. That's bad time management. And then when then we thought we scored, we're going to go for two, which some people believe was the right cause. No, I don't. It was not the goddamn right call. We, 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 uh, go ahead. My fault. I didn't mean to cut you off. But it's, no, no, no. I was just going to briefly touch on that. We can like touch on that as a separate topic. I was right. just going to briefly touch on that. Like that, that's that that was contested. But during that game and in that scenario, I just don't think it was the right call. But we'll get back there. Um, both the guards, I talked about interior pressure. On the last show, both the guards struggled mightily in pass protection. Uh, Falehi, uh specifically looked lost in the first half. Uh, the Ravens were called for three illegal formation penalties in the first drive. Uh, throughout the whole game, I think Ronnie Stanley was called for three of, of that same infraction the entire game. So he didn't get it the first time. He didn't get it the second time. It, it took a third time for him to get it. And then out of the seven penalties, five of them were illegal formation. Uh, you know, and I think Bateman had as many illegal formations as catches. So we got to we got to just do a, a, a little better job at, as far as controlling what we control. Yes, the game wasn't called uh, consistently on both ends of the football. But my, my point to Ravens fans is why do you always worry about what the other team's calls are? If you are getting called for the same thing throughout the game. Go on the sideline when the drive is done. Pull up an iPad and see what you're doing wrong and then stop doing that. Control what you can control. Stop worrying about the opponent with Taylor Swift and the NFL behind them as they go for a fourth Super Bowl and back to back to back Super Bowl. Stop worrying about what the NFL gives them or does for them or the refs do for them. They ain't going to do it for you. What you can do so that they can't throw a penalty it's play within the rules. It's that simple. Um, you know, and that's preparation. That's coaching. You know what I mean? Like, that's something that we shouldn't be killing ourselves. We already have a tough enough time trying to protect Lamar Jackson every play. <laughs> we don't need to, to, to aid into that by getting ourselves in penalties. As far as defense is concerned, we look lost in times and coverage. Keys cut, uh, touched on that. In the flat, the outside linebackers were matched up against running backs. Didn't look the greatest. Uh, I think Roquan Smith, uh, you know, was getting taken advantage of um, on those crossing paths with Rasheed Rice. You know, those were mismatches. Uh, you know, the cheap shot he had, that was – we want to complain about refs. They spared us on that play. He hit him five yards out of bounds. Roquan, <laughs> if you want to make a play, hit somebody legally hard, okay? Like, stop the yapping. You're not Ray Lewis. You're a great player, but you're not Ray. The thing about Ray is what he said on that podium, what he said – to the media, he did. He wasn't playing. He really was out here trying to take somebody's head off, and he would do it legally, and he would do it every play. You just stop the talking, bro. Um, Malik Harrison, I don't want to see him anymore. Trenton Simpson, <laughs> he played amazing. He played amazing. And shout out to Malik because I saw him at the bar, and he was mad cool. But I do want to see you play. I want to see you succeed, brother. But you gotta, you gotta turn it up. It, 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 might, it, might, not, it might, it might, it might, it might, it might not can't be here though. Stay off the bar and be better, yo. I saw, <laughs> I saw him in open field. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know uh, about that one. Oh, Jabo had some flashes. I thought, uh, as as far as the young pass rushers, he showed the he showed the most promise. Uh, you you want to see him be consistent over an entire game as far as pressures are concerned. It, it seems like now the points of the game, he was handled pretty well, but in the cases in which he got through, he got through. And shout out to him. Owe, he's still slipping slide records, according to my man's off of Twitter. He's slipping slide records. I mean, I don't understand why you get 
a few feet within the quarterback, and then you start fumbling and bumbling over your feet every single time. Like, what is it that he's so excited that he's going to get you know a sack on the board? He just forgets how to walk or he run. Ain't being there, yo. He ain't it's, it's the, no, he it's the same there. thing as Penn State, like <laughs> fumbling and bumbling. I just don't understand, brother. Um, what else I have? Uh, clock management. We talked about that. Uh, even uh, fourth and three in the second quarter. You know what I mean? Cost us. Cost us a doing, field man? goal. What we doing with that, man? Well, that's the first game of the season, man. What we doing? It's a. <laughs> it's, it's nasty, brother. I mean, we talked about the need to get the ball out quick last show. I think Justice Hill. Um, was a big part in that. Uh, I don't, and even against those plays where he had to block Chris Jones, I felt like he gave us a great opportunity to extend the play and not have my quarterback killed. Mm-hmm. Justice Hill played amazing in my eyes. Now the question is, what you mentioned the vision of Der- for for Derrick Henry. This was always the vision. Derrick Henry is who Derrick Henry is throughout his entire career. We we mentioned it last show. Uh, D'Amico Murray, Dion Lewis. Uh, um, who's the latest one? T- Tajay Spears. Like, they always have a third down pass catching back next to Derrick Henry because he doesn't excel in those areas. You know, he's too upright. I saw Lamar try to throw to him in the flat a couple times. It just didn't look right. He don't got no. It just, it's just he's so upright. He's he's a tall, big running back, and he it just doesn't seem like he's the best fit in that passing game. And if the O line is not going to protect Lamar, Justice Hill's main role is. Don't get Lamar killed. And I feel like he did an amazing job in that, you know. And uh, if we didn't want to see Sa- – the thing with the Sa- the thing with Derrick Henry is if we're down 10 points, we're going to see him less. If we're in the two-minute drill, we're not going to see him at all. Uh, so he can get game scripted out of games. We've, we've seen that with Tennessee. So this is why people want his, people like Saquon. You saw what Saquon was doing last night. He had to take his ass off the field, even though they have – Another talented running back in Shipley, so they kind of used them creatively together. But you don't got to take Saquon off the field. He can pass, protect. He can catch. He can he can get you uh, yards inside, outside. He can do everything you want. Derrick Henry is not that type of back. Um, the offense got to be more diverse too. You know, uh, it seems like that Zay Flowers package. It, I don't know if he's been playing college football. It doesn't seem like he's been in the lab, so to speak. It seems like he's been he's been playing with Keith on online and just running the same damn plays like the, the, those jet sweeps is getting annoying like we weren't throwing it any further than what three yards past the line of scrimmage yeah, that's at, not at to a, him at, anyway at, yeah, at a certain point I, the a dot was one yard right not to him yeah. why not get him in the, in the in the slot lined up on a linebacker or something man like they was doing us like scheme they listen man uh and you see on the other side the differences you see them using their their xavier worthies uh, you see them using Rasheed Rice in the in the intermediate area in which he's comfortable in. Like they have, and then imagine when Marquise comes back, yo. It's speed. gonna get spooky, brother. It's gonna get spooky. But I mean, I think those were my main things. Um, let's see. Yeah, just the clock management at the, uh, clock management throughout the game, and just John Harbaugh just doing what John Harbaugh does. I, I don't think he did anything throughout the game as a coach to warrant. To have the confidence to stick your hands up for two, like, like, bro, I feel like in those situations where your team with no timeouts, first of all, why did they have no timeouts midway through? I mean, one timeout midway through the third quarter, and you're trailing by ten at that point. It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? We get we get to the fourth quarter. Lamar was given no timeouts. He he drove us up that field. Um, I just think to to go for two, you have to convert it because if you don't, all that hard work. And momentum is just gone. I, I feel like OT, people be scared of OT. I'm not scared of OT. Or you have a chance to get the ball first. I you mean, have I a just, chance to get a stop. Yeah. I just think you don't have two, just one play. Yeah. I just think going for two, and my philosophy is if you up big and they catch you, and then you go for two because you've been blowing them out the whole game. But you're coming back. Give your team an opportunity to win the game over time, man. Like, give, give you give your team to give a chance to team. Like, you've been, tra- you besides open the score, you've been trailing the whole game. Give them a chance. Give him a chance now. Like I said, if you was up twenty and they tied the game, and then you 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 score to take the lead, it's not. Oh, you score and you tied it, and you need to go for two. And you know you've been blowing them out. It's, I mean, like I said, at that point in time, they gonna have the most energy because they didn't came back all game. So you you don't want to take an overtime. But if you the team that came back all game, you want to go to time. You got all the momentum, all, all the momentum. So that's how I think about it. I, I know Keith is chomping at the bit. Give me one second. I just want to uh, Derrick Henry. Like I guess the thought process would be we would run the ball with Derrick Henry on a on a two point conversion opportunity. 
do you guys trust the offensive line to get pushed in that scenario? Derrick Henry was 13 rushes, 46 yards, three and a half yards per carry last uh, the, the other night. It wasn't like he was the most efficient, and it wasn't like he had the most room to operate. Do we trust our interior line for one play against a back-to-back -back championship team and a championship defense? We trust them for one play to get pushed? I don't know. I don't know. No, yeah, I don't either. I mean, I, I actually disagree with y'all. Honestly, I think I would have went for two in the situation. I was fine with it. Um, main reason being that that offensive line, are you going to go back down the field again? You had 10 possessions all game. You had six of them that was empty. So you got two yards to go win a football game. That's the closest you're going to get to beating this team. To me, I say you take it. I, I like going for two in that situation with no time on the clock. Now, if it's a minute left in regulation, 45 seconds, take the one. Let's live to fight another day. But no time on the clock. They can't touch the ball again. We got two yards to get, just like we did in Pittsburgh a few years ago. I like the call, me personally. Um, I end up. Yeah, see, he ended up. I ended up. It ended up empty, sure, but – which yeah, you want to move the ball again and let him go down the field and get seven? Like you that's, got that's the ball just, right there to win the game. So go win the game. He gets the ball though. Like we, we're that's we're, all, we're already get the ball and go down the field too. I want the, I want the chance of the flip. You I leaving it the in chance. the hands of a coin though. You got it right there to go. I'm win. leaving it. You I'm not trying to leave it in the hands of for of Voorhees and fucking Falehi. That's me. I feel you. I just feel like you two yards away from winning the game. Go win the game. But that's just that's just my take. It's, it's, it's split down the middle. It's, I mean, you got half. Yeah, 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 I mean, I, I, I get good, so you don't up. get it. We seen we yeah. seen both sides last year when it don't. Yeah. But then it's all good when Mahomes get the ball and he go eighty yards and you don't touch it either way. So I mean, it, it it can go either way to me. But I just think you two yards away from winning a football game, go win the game. If you lose, I'm cool with losing off the two. That's just me personally. As for the game, typical Ravens, lack of attention to detail. Um. First, first possession, the first uh, drive of the game, you go 11 plays, 70 plus yards. Your next three possessions are only 11 plays. So we talk about it time in, time out. Um, talked about it Monday, my outlook. What does this mucking system look like in year two? It looked flat. Um, I just said you had 10 possessions in the football game, six of them was empty. Either turnovers, uh, punts, you did nothing with them. Um, so it's too many stagnant drives again with this football team. Like they not moving the football. Um, Y'all didn't cover most of that. So I'm going to go to the defensive side, Zachary Orr. It's two plays where the Chiefs really should have walked in with touchdowns. The one with Pacheco up the sideline and then the one to the other side to, to Perrine. They mm. both dropped them. Those was both walk-in touchdowns. Because like he, he dropped the Travis yeah. Jones yeah. in coverage. Like, yeah, he dropped them. Yeah, like you okay. that you got to scheme, but you got to be better. And this is his first game. He'll get better. <laughs> But it's just little instances of that. You talked about the Marlin one already, but those are those are potentially three no key, lapses no that should have no, been touched. No key. stop, stop, stay on Marlin, bro. <laughs> Please stay on Marlin. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what was that? <laughs> what what what, what, what that is really it? Like what that? is that, he? Like, why is he still on the outside? That's my. Why he is he become? still on the outside? He, he is Rudiger. Horrible. That's what he's becoming. Oh my god. <laughs> But no, nah, just just typical Ravens, Ravens, uh, Ravens football. I'm not surprised by the outcome, to be honest with you. Um, it's those same half five to ten plays a game that just that that kill it. Um, Lamar cannot be a superhero all year. When we've seen this before, he went down midseason, like it can't happen. He can't keep taking those hits too. I know it's week one. You want to be tough, but just get out of bounds and get down. Like we can't allow you to, to accrue those hits. I like it. I like you talking, yapping, taking the contact, but you our asset, bro. Like we need you on the field. And that line is only gonna put you in more danger as the season goes on, I fear. Um, so wasn't impressed with the run offense again. Um, outside of that first drive, they kind of abandoned it again. Um but they're going to have to stop running Derrick Henry out of that single bat. Like they, they, they're going to have to run him out of spread, a pistol. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to spread him a little bit because it's too obvious. It's, it's obvious what they're doing when he's in the game. And then you got one play where you got Ricard in front of him. Come on, what do y'all – we know what y'all doing. Y'all running up the yeah, gut. Yeah. And what the Chiefs do? Hammer down the box. It's obvious. But this yeah. is why you go out and get a Saquon so they can't yeah. call your play pre-snap. <laughs> we was calling it just watching the game, and what do we know? We we ended the bar. Um, 
But Travis Jones, <laughs> shout out to him defensively. I talked, we talked about the defense a little bit, but he stood out to me. Travis Jones had a hell of a game inside. Um, got the pressure inside. It's just cont- we we can't finish. Even Ray Lewis said, like, you gotta have these sacks. Like, you gotta finish these plays against this team. And um, the more you let 15 sit back there and essentially just create, he's gonna kill you. And he, he 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 continues to do it. We continue to lose the same way. We get outclassed in every asset. Um, Reed first hardball, Spags first, uh, Munkin, and and so on and so forth. So um it's week one, like I said, Monday. I'm gonna put my stock into it, but you you, you got to be better. And if you're not, it, it it could be a long season, and you might see Tyler Huntley in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to piggyback on everything y'all said, I, I'm gonna lean on to the Lamar thing. I think that was the most physical I've ever seen him play. It was like he took it personal with the weight and everything. I mean, he was long when this showed a couple times. Yeah, but the, I mean. the flip side to that. Is it 16 more of these? And if that line is going to be like that, yo, you're not going to hold up. You, you're you not going to hold up at all doing that. It, it, it's cool. It, it gets everybody motivated and behind you. Pause. But you're not, you, you, you not built for that, and you shouldn't want to be built for that. Like, we've seen it Don't with Cam. Don't let TJ come find you playing like that. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I said that when 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 we made the tweet about him losing weight. I was first, yo, all right, you lost the weight. Cool, you quit. But somebody going to catch you. And if you head hunting it, oh, you're not gonna hold up. You're not gonna hold up. Uh, in real, quick, that offense go- literally just looked like Lamar and Likely. It looked like that's, Lamar and Likely. That, that, was, a bunch that of was what guys. I was about to say, Sco. Like, let's really let's talk about that because you got this investment at quarterback, and what have you surrounded them with? Essentially, you got Rashad Bateman. Yo, relax. Yeah, Come on, yeah, yeah, Scott. Yeah, they bad, signed they signed him for <laughs> for some lemon <laughs> Like, Come on, I barely got any money <laughs> for a wide receiver. Yeah, we gotta talk about Mark. Yeah, we gotta talk about. Yeah, that's what, that's yeah, what I was, that's talk what I was going that. with this next. Yeah, that's what I was going with this next. It's, it's like, so know, hard. We yo, when, yo, when we seen Lam- we seen Lamar with. Go ahead, Scott. I was about to say yo, when he caught that minus the injury, it reminded me of yeah, like the, yo. Yeah, I don't know he what just that was. Fell. Did he just fell. I don't know if he thought he had the first like, down. Like, I don't know what it was. He looked like Nick Boyle out there. Yeah, like I give him the benefit and say he thought he had the first down, but I don't. That's all I'm giving. That's only barrel I give him. Is this that aftershock from the car accident? Because, like, yo, I've seen it happen. Like, yeah, accidents can mess you up. Hell, yeah. But, but I, I, mean, I brought that up at work. People was talking about Mark Andrews. I'm like, yo, he all right from the accident? After, I wasn't trying to be funny. That's aftershock yeah, from like, the Bengals game. Like, he ain't trying to get hit no more. Like, talk about a broke yeah. leg and a car yeah, accident? Yeah, yeah. went straight down. Um, it went straight but down. But, yeah, I, I mean, like said, it's far, it's I agree. I, it, every, 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 every team wants max amount of weapons they can have. I agree with that. But we, we just seen Lamar with do what he had to do with, you know, the, the weapons he had. I, I think that he'll be fine with, you know, uh, a Zay and if Bateman can be okay. And then he'll be fine if you got a a, a, a good offensive line that can protect him. Got but they're going to have to mature yeah. those routes yeah. for Zay, though. Yeah. Like, nah. they got to protect them, too. They got to protect them so the be, route can... Yeah, yeah exactly. Be he'll be fine. Like, you can't... You, you got to build him. He'll be fine um, if you have a line, which is why they should have... Mark Andrews should have been out of here two years ago. Um, you could have used that money to sign Zeitler back because that's what that's what's, what's really missing here is Kevin Zeitler. Like that, that you need him at that at that guard position. Um, you you definitely need him. And what Detroit signed him for, you you could you could have signed him for that money if you if you didn't have to deal with Mark Andrews' contract on the book. And um, as far as like Lamar is concerned, I don't mind him scrambling. Uh, I, we 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 saw him scramble way more than he has in the past. A lot of times his rushes came mostly on uh uh, design runs so him scrambling from pass plays was a welcome sign because i felt that's the mike vick effect as opposed to as as opposed to being lamar jackson doing the design 32 when he did it perfect i loved it but he has to scramble so much and receivers can't work downfield because we can't block and that's going to be – there's a reason why Zay Flowers, all his routes were at the line of scrimmage. They're trying to get the ball out to him quick. We talked about the quick passing game. It's just Munkin exaggerated a little bit, and I didn't – we didn't know that it was going to be this bad on, as far as pass pro uh, to the point where they're not even allowing – their they're not even calling plays for receivers to get down the field. And the only time the receivers were able to get downfield, Lamar had to get outside of the pocket, run around a little bit, and then make some magic happen. So the we're gonna have to figure out a we're gonna have to figure out a way to actually block so that we can work in the intermediate areas and get Zay uh, a little bit further 
past the line of scrimmage. And then as far as uh, you know, Justice Hill was pretty much our second, our second um weapon on the field, right? Like it was a a, a good portion of the game. He was our leading receiver before likely caught that that miracle ball. Um, so we're gonna listen. Lamar had 16 rushes, Derek Henry had 13. I'm not gonna be surprised if Lamar leads the team in rushing again. Why? Because we go as Lamar goes. And the only time our running backs get a hefty amount of carries is when we're up 10, 15, 20. When the game is competitive or we're trailing, the Gus Edwards, the Derrick Henrys of the world ain't going to get the ball as much. That's just what it is. And to your point about the – my last point, to your point about the philosophy, you like you said, you got to choose. You, 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 if, 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 if you're going to be a throwing team or you may run a team, you ain't going – at this point – if you if this is the line that you're playing with, you're gonna have to put the ball in his hands and and scheme to where he can have a little bit more time and let him throw the ball. But you can't you you can't be doing both because they're trying to do both and it's hurting them. Keith Keith mentioned single back, like taking the snap under center. Like we saw that RPO uh, with Derrick Henry and Lamar, and saw Lamar get loose on a scramble. They never ran it again. on a keep. They never ran it again. And every seen how you seen what likely was out front of that too. Like he had space. Everything was under center, and Lamar is not used to playing under center. He can play under center, but we're sitting there trying to make Derek comfortable. I think it's Derek needs to work. get comfortable to what yeah. we, we're we doing. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I saw a stat. Um, like, Justice Hill played 47 plays and only had one carry. Like, he, 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 yeah, <laughs> like, it does, you showing your hand. You know what it is when he come in the game. Pass time. Same with Gus Edwards. Yeah, he ended up being extra blocker. And the, Gus- weird, and the weird part about that is we've seen Justice Hill as a running back be successful. Like, hand the ball out to him. You got to keep the defense honest. You have to keep him honest. But I love those dump offs to him. Um, I mean, that was six. I, I think, take that uh, all day. Six I take that all day. I take that all day. I take that all day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, can pass. That's always been Lamar's big thing. Just dump the ball though. And he and he's been doing and he did a great job of of getting to his check downs, getting the ball out quickly. Uh, Keys mentioned only one sack. So he he did a great job in a hostile environment with no offensive line against Chris Jones on ring night. He did. Amazing. Man, he looked he looked amazing. Like I said, like I said, yeah. all, all the, the miss put take the miss those out of it. He literally looked like MVP. He's he's ready to defend his MVP. Like that's what I seen from him. Yeah, when Lamar started getting out and freaky out, and he he hit that spin move. I said, "Oh yeah, <laughs> yo hit that spin move on that sideline." I said, "Yeah, he he he, he back." So you listen, ain't gotta worry about him. You just it's 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 the other people. All in all, game one, we went toe to toe with the back to back defending champs to to the last second. So yeah. this is yeah. not something we we hang our heads down, but it is something that we have to file away. We're one and five against Mahomes. It's not mm-hmm. a robbery. It's big bro, little bro. Definitely not a robbery. And we have to figure out how to get um we have to figure out how to match their coaching and 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 scheming because defensively they out coaches, offensively they out coaches. As far as time management and challenges or whatnot, they consistently out coaches. So until we can get to a point where we're even in that area, because the teams, the personnel, yeah, that's what I was about to say. They're even enough. Like the, the, yeah, like you're saying on the playing field, as far as players, like we we got as much as a, you know, our roster is, is just a talented roster. It's, it comes down to the intangibles, and we can't compete. Like it's like we get an F in the tangible, they get an A, and that's that's be the difference for every single game. And Justin Tucker uh has been missing for yeah, uh, yeah, we, don't, we don't gotta bring him up. What he's I a, what I say, kid. Keys, what I say right before the kick, he about to miss this. Yeah, he's a bum. <laughs> he, he, he's he's doing all, he do it every he'll big make, game. He'll, he'll, he'll make big kick, he'll make big kicks no more, man. Like yeah. that's all I say. He'll make big kicks no more. If it ain't both, a 65 yeah. yarder with no time on the clock, he he's ain't washed. making it. He's washed. If, if you, he if you give him between 45, if you give him between 45 and 55, he's gonna miss. that's what I'm saying. He had his lowest thing is it's not delayed. Yeah, but it's the accuracy he's been off, yeah. From fifty it's yards out, delayed. from fifty yards out, last year was the worst year of his career, and we see the first kick opportunity from fifty yards out. Remember, we've been spoiled. We've been spoiled with Goat Tucker. He used to be automatic from fifty. Yeah, we used to be able point. to salvage our drives just knowing we got Justin. At least it's yeah. not like that no more. Now you really got to consider, yo, if this is a fifty-four yard field goal, it's not a, it. it's not a definite that he gonna make this, and that 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 changes our thought process and decision making and this is something that we have not had to deal with before so we'll see how it goes going forward 
see if he can bounce back. All in all, great opening uh, game Thursday night. Let's Hell take yeah. the let's take the Friday. Eagles walk out of Brazil, safe and sound, 34-29 against the Packers. Jordan Love, 17 completions, 260 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Jalen Hurts, 20 completions, 278 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, a couple fumbles. Sloppy game, but ended up turning into an entertaining game towards the end. But this game started off sloppy as shit. Hey, NFL, that field, don't do that again. You gonna get people stop, hurt, man. You gonna get people seriously hurt. Yeah, you blew I mean, love is too. hurt. Yeah, yeah love is hurt. But. And I think he honestly got hurt early in the game on one of them throws when he went to plant and he slipped. And then I mean, he got hit later on, but mm-hmm. I think he was already hurt. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel like I said, hopefully the drunk love, hopefully he, he, you know, is healthy. Hopefully he don't miss no extended time. Um, but. Because he, I mean, you could tell the type of you know the type of play he is, the type of throw he is. Like he, he can stand back. He's your prototypical quarterback. He can stand back, throw the ball. Um, it, but the the pack, the same thing with the Packers. I seen this last year. I seen this against you know that big games last year against the 49ers, against the, the, the game games where they you know they look like the, the better team for majority of game. And then Jordan Love just make a stupid mistake. Um, he make a, he make a dumb mistake. They can't get over the hump. But they have talent. They very young. They very raw. They very talented. Um. Yeah, so I, I I think the biggest thing for them to take away from this game is that he just his health. Uh, we we all hope that he's healthy. I'm mean, talking about the Eagles. They they gonna be so scary offensively. They they probably the best team in the league offensively. Like they so scary offensively. Um, if Jalen Hurts can clean up the mistakes, um, they 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 should be fine going forward. Um, yeah, that uh, the I think I think the, the donkey they gotta be the Giants, dog. The donkey they gotta be the Giants. Yeah, like, the donkey the year. Dog. We got yeah, nothing no real. Yeah, like it's no reason why they 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 let him go to they they sign him and they let him go to the to the uh to the Eagles though. Like that's ridiculous. Like that makes I'm, no sense. Like if I'm a Giants fan, I'm sick to my stomach today. I'm sick to my stomach. You put him in that offense and you can't load the box up. You can't look because I mean they got I don't even think Jahan Dotson got a, a target last night. Like they leaving people off the board. They so Kellen Moore gonna dial it up. Yeah, he got him. He got he, then he got Shipley in there going one way. Got Saquon going another way with. And with Brown and Smith. Goddard and all of them, it's it, just it, weapons yeah, everywhere. Uh, Smith, it's a lot. It's crazy. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on over there. Like he said, uh, is Jalen Hurts going to clean up these mistakes? They didn't hurt them last night. Is week one, but I mean, a lot of those mistakes, a player in his fourth year should not be making. Yeah, I agree with that. But he, other than that, like I said, he look, he still looks good. Yeah, of course, of course. He still look. I don't think he, I don't think he needs to run the ball as much because they got Saquon now. Like, it, I mean, it's a part of his game. But I, I don't. But like I said, if you can just sit back there and you got AJ Brown on one side and Deontay Smith on the other side, you could turn around and hand the ball off to, Sa- to Saquon Barkley. You're gonna be hard to beat. Um, defensively, they still look okay. Um, they got their holes, of course, but defensively, they can. The, the, the bottom line with the Eagles is they can just they can always get pressure on the quarterback. Like that that chain getting pressure is the key to the game. You can change every game any way you want to. You get pressure on the quarterback, and um, Jalen Carter he he can get pressure anytime he wants to. Jordan they they can get pressure anytime they want to. Uh, listen, you saw the difference between a Saquon and a Derrick Henry yesterday when Derrick uh, when Saquon goes out for that wheel route and catches a receiving touchdown. Again, you don't have to take him out of the game. Your playbook is wide open when he's on the field. And he can make plays like that where he's seeing a football into his chest um, on an 18-yard wheel route. So, I mean, listen, man, uh, the Eagles, the rich get richer. The rich get richer because they actually have uh, Kellen Moore, uh, a system that is going to highlight and, and and bring out the strengths of these players. Saquon, like, he he's working with the best offensive line he's ever had in his life. And you can see just how that blends with his game. Those quick jump cuts, those quick, it's it's just too easy for him. Like, it, 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 hey, bro, he was doing whatever he wanted. <laughs> you know, 24 rushes, see. you know, 109 yards, four and a half yards of carry, you know, able to capitalize in the red zone with tough running. If you thought DeAndre Swift was looking good last year, this is a, this is a different Hemi. Like, this is a different type of engine, dog. Yeah, he never been behind a line like that either. And then you got Jalen Hurts who can, yeah, I agree, he should probably be running less, but on those crucial downs where Hurts tucks it and then, like, if he needs eight and you tackle him uh, three yards away from that eight, 
He tried. Those squats he does, he's going to get that extra three. Yeah, they he got were. it last night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they definitely he, were. He is something else, man. Like, when they're – and then you got A.J. Brown, who's who's a physical specimen and can oh, run man. a 4-3. Mm-hmm. Devontae Smith, who is a great route runner and has awesome speed. It's just like, pick your poison. Now, go back to this Brazil thing. Um. We we I understand the dollars behind globalizing the sport, but if we really care about player safety, I mean these players got to fly 10, 10 hours just to go to a, a area which they can't leave a hotel, just to go to a field in which it's slippery and unsafe, and go and play in front of people that barely know or barely root for the sport in general. Like not saying they're not fans of the, but you know after every touchdown the, the stadium wasn't loud. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm one of the teams and I have to sacrifice a home game in front of my fans for this bullshit. Right. Now, they booing the Eagles. I'm like, why are y'all booing the Eagles? What the hell? Same thing I said. What I say, Keith, <laughs> this game's supposed to be played at Lincoln Financial or at Lambeau Field. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like if you go, like give, give, them, give. If, if the Eagles had, if they got to play the Bears or somebody, give them somebody at the Cardinals. Don't, don't have Eagles Packers. Like that should be in like, Lambeau the or the Cardinals over there. Uh, Lambeau or Lincoln. Right. Oh, we don't, we don't want to see like Keith football in America. Like, like yeah. do y'all remember NFL Europe right, back yeah. in the day? That shit didn't go yeah. well. Like they talking about having games in Germany over in, in talking about having a team. Like, well, I think oh, it's send the bums over there. there. Yeah, yeah, they used to send the Jaguars send, over there before yeah, the Jaguars send, was good. In the car, the game over there all the time. That's, That's your punishment for being there. a bum. You got to go yeah. eight hours across and go to Brazil. Make sure your passport straight and get the hell out of here. Yeah, if y'all bro. really want to do it, like like start a developmental league and have like American players go over there and play developmentally or something. I don't know what you want to do to increase football uh, strength holds in those in those markets, but sending your premier talent over there ain't Not worth it. it. Nah, and and, and the, you trying to compete with soccer ain't never gonna happen. Mm. It's not gonna happen. Like yo, so, soccer outside of America is is king. You're not gonna dip into that market share. Stop being greedy and keep your players safe. Unfortunately for Jordan Love getting hurt on that second and last play, especially yeah, I know. especially after they had a smidgen of a chance to kind of do some oh yeah christian watson you messed up my parlay dog you can't boy what it's the field dog like you can't get 25 him and wicks would have had the 25 he wasn't slipping yeah. the bumble man like, what, you, what you call away yeah. what you call away slip and slide record yo <laughs> that, that's the field slip and slide field like, two tickets <laughs> two different tickets mgm and FanDuel. <laughs> christian watson 13 yards it's, only he, one he would have had him team four, I'm thinking though. when I saw Malik Willis going to the game, I said, God damn and it. He need to get out, he need to get out the league. I still had hope. He, he can't he can't even get a home Mario. No, he can't even get a home Mario. Yo, last year against y'all, same scenario. He was in the game to get a Hail Mary he and he got sacked. He didn't get it up. A three man <laughs> a three man rush. They dropping in coverage. And he's still getting sacked. It don't they make are sense. Are so. I mean, it was a, it was a time and place you wanted Joe Tusco with a first round pick. I ain't forget. <laughs> no, that. no, 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 no. I changed my mind because remember no, I saw you, the highlights. He was running that first around. Round pick. You was no, talking no, no. about he was, for a couple. Months. I mean, it, yo, that draft class is. And then you settle for Kenny. Yo, that that draft class is Dookie, right? Wix 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 would have had at least forty yards. He he. Fell three times on yeah. fifteen yard. I want one that was like a thirty yard pass. Right. I'm yeah, wide open. Dog. Shout out to Jay they got a too. yeah a dog. Whew. Here's so, the thing that's going to be tough. Three, oh, three, three, well, yeah, not yeah, not yeah. really. He now, showed me in the playoff though last year. He was super duper. Yeah. Playoffs. Shit. What they say? Eight games. He got nine touchdowns. That's I saw. Cool. I saw. Like, I, I saw the nitty production. league shorty. I was like, let's go. <laughs> Give me points. I was like, who got this nigga? <laughs> that's what I thought. Him and Worthy. I'm like, yo, who got these guys? Who got these guys? God damn it! Yeah. Good, good, good start to the good, good start to the season. I mean, not the nitty league, uh, another uh, league. Yeah, it, it was a sloppy start. start. A sloppy but it start, is, but for a fan, it was very entertaining. Yeah, very entertaining. Very entertaining. Shout out, shout out for the uh sharing of the peacock password, man. I was not paying that seven ninety nine. Shout out to y'all, <laughs> allegedly. You know what I mean? Oh. Sharing is caring. Hey, I allegedly, I, 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 I'll share. I allegedly. I'll share. I'll share. Just in case. Just in case you can't find nobody, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I stay prepared. I stay prepared. But let's go to the first commercial break. Nitty Gritty. When I want some sports news, Nitty Gritty is definitely who I'm tuning into, man. They show up each week with that uncut, that raw, that unfiltered sports news. They say the things that everyone 
everyone else wishes that they can say, but they can't. Every Tuesday and Saturday, I am locked into my favorite sports show, Nitty Gritty. Nitty Gritty, the best show out right now. Tune in and listen, stupid. Let me take it behind the curtain, Keith. Steelers travel to Atlanta. Week one, take on the Falcons. Uh, we go in there. I think we are three and a half point uh, underdog last time I checked. News broke early yesterday. Not even yesterday. Thursday. Russell hurt already. Calf. Questionable. Justin Fields. Starter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're planning you starting Justin obviously right because the, the, of course the, the calf you never know with the calf even if you say what a calf he can't play he can't play he or can't quarterback play. you can't drop back you can't play you it's not it's not gonna be good so just just start Justin and a good thing hey Justin got all the first team reps because I mean Russ was hurt during the summer he got all the first team reps uh he played in the preseason the most the the thing about this is and it's a lot of back and forth about who actually had a chance to start um Justin got a lot of playing time and didn't really separate himself from a guy that didn't play. So that that's not really encouraging, but I'll take the positives, what he can do getting outside the pocket, which he might have to given what the offensive line looks like. Um, I just want Justin to, to make good decisions, make quick decisions. Don't hold on to the ball, make quick decisions and just give us a chance. Just, just give us a chance. You don't want to be three and out. You don't want to play behind the sticks. You don't want to three and out. This offense for the Falcons, we got to see it's week one. But they got the potential to be high octane, right? So you you want to keep the defense in this game and give us a chance. And uh, we'll see. We, injuries. Roman Wilson's out. That That's expected. Isaac Somalu is out. That's expected. So you, I want to see what this interior line looks like against a, a Grady Jarrett. I want to see what Roger Jones and what Dan Moore can do with a Judon rushing, right? Um, Because we're going to have to run the ball. We're going to have to run the ball, and we, we're going to have to make whatever plays Justin has, we're going to have to make them quick, decisive plays. Quick, quick hitters, get the ball out quick, play action down the field. He does have a he does have a deep ball, so we just got to lean on that because if, 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 if it's – the seventy five percent of the bad that he showed in Chicago, it can get ugly quick. It can get ugly quick, and he won't even give the defense a chance. So, what's, nah, the, I'm, chances, I'm, what's the chances Russell sits though? It's he, all but said that he's the starter. It's all but said that Justin started. Yeah, I'm gonna put it to you like this: Van Jefferson didn't even know that Russell was out there last practice. <laughs> so. You, you, y'all take that so for what it now, is. Now, now you ask. Now you gotta ask. Was this the plan all along? Did they did they did they announce Russell's a starter and then try? They they knew they knew they wanted just as a start, so they had to say it, Russ, it was that weird. Calf, that calf it, packed up again, Russ. Need that yeah, calf it packed. was weird because I mean, from, um, <laughs> we weren't here to talk about all the 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 training camp stuff, but yo, Justin got first team reps the whole summer, the whole summer. Like he he only started what two games he had two drives against detroit and that was it he threw one pass so when they named him the starter i was kind of like damn did justin even have a chance like because when you look at it he outperformed rush just because of availability but and then Russ didn't complain about the calf after the preseason games it, it just it just popped up yeah. on wednesday <laughs> the, and, the week in preparation it popped and up justin wednesday. talking like when they named the starter justin was like yo i'm cool I'm all right. And then all the posts on IG, like it was kind of like, like Nick been saying all week on Twitter, it was written. Right. So like, he wasn't even worried. Like he knew this was coming. So we'll see. Hopefully he's prepared. Um, He's not going to get that job back. Though. I hope he don't. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, but here's the thing, Justin, it, it it's in your corner, dog. The ball is in your court to really prove that you can be a starter in this league. Yo, <laughs> if you can't do it now, it, it 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 ain't never gonna happen, yo. And you you might be looked at as a backup for the rest of your career if you fumble this opportunity. Shit, he had more weapons last year in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Now this is how 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 Arthur Smith uses him. For I'm really? gonna be interested to see that because what his 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 skill set is different from Russ. Just age and everything that he can do athletically, like yo, it. You will hope that uh, you will, you will hope with a better organization, a better whatever, whatever. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, uh, everything got to take a totality situation. Now, I mean, I don't know what the percentage is high because we we didn't see him make some damn plays. Like what, what I'm you saying, think, yeah, what yeah, you yeah, think, yeah. Justin? 
yeah. but then we'd also see him take off for ADR run at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how, how I'm interested in him in the new uniform and a new system with a new organization, how he performs. Like you said, if it's the same thing, he's done. He's done. <laughs> he's done. He he's done. It starts at week one. I'm not saying you gotta go out there and, and look like a, a superhero, but you gotta have more positive plays than negative, right? You gotta clean snaps, hold on to the ball, don't throw interceptions, keep your team in it, and you really gotta sit down and think, yo. Do we put Russ back in? I mean, shit, he only making a million dollars. You're not losing nothing keeping him on the bench. You're not paying him nothing. So this is literally one of them where it's like, yo, it's not even a business decision holding you back from starting if you play well. But it's on you, Justin. It's on you. And y'all know how I feel about week one, Steelers defense. It can get it, it can get hectic. And, and, and you're going to need it with the uncertainty on, on the offensive side. Because, again, I mean – I saw what Arthur Smith did in Atlanta. It wasn't great. I also seen what he did in Tennessee, which got him that Atlanta job. But of course, it, Najee Smith is not prime Derrick Henry, so you got to take that with and a grain of salt. Five, six years ago, even. And he, so, the game has changed. So I'll see how he adapts with the. I mean, I'm sure he wants to be a head coach again. So he got to prove too. It's a lot of proving in this week one. This nigga was talking so crazy about Arthur Smith last year. So it yeah, sounds crazy what, to me. That, that's why yeah. I'm laughing right now. I'm no, so. I'm not. I, I didn't say that he was going to be out there and uh, be Sean McVay. Nah, but he, he got a pretty He guy. is what you he is. is oh, I'm not. Uh-huh. Now, you used, to, used, to, used to say he sucked, though. He did but, suck. But, he, but, but he's he on still your team. sucks. I don't know that. He's, and you're hoping that he's. <laughs> what you mean you don't know that? You forgot? You got amnesia? Right now, I don't know that. You know right it. Now, I I don't know it now. Hey, hey, I'm gonna put it. To, hey. You be a homer sometimes, Sco. So <laughs> no, it's not so. Homer. It's not I'm so. a homer. I'm a homer until I got kick you out. <laughs> I'll let you, I'll let you crash on the couch and, and until yes, you don't clean up after yourself. You, I gotta, you don't clean you up after yourself, up, you gotta get out. You gotta, you gotta get, get out. Don't, he don't come in here and give it give it to the Steelers like he really should. Oh yes, I only when they play like only when they play like that's real like only when they, they really really bad. Yeah, when they lose the call, only really that's, 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 that's a lot. Come in here and really give it up. <laughs> no, nah, that's you a come lot. in here I, humble. No, nah, I hold it down. But the thing is, yo, when yo. you see the Steeler community, yo, shout out the Pat Fry move, right? He got his extension, yo. He's the ninth paid tight end in the league, yo. You would have thought he was getting paid number one tight end money the way they talking about. Why did they do this, yo, fam? First, somebody got to get paid here. Who who was who said that the Steelers community was saying that? Yo, they hated that. They hated that extension. I mean, not well, they, it, they, they, the they. They just don't think he's. They just don't think he's. They, I, but I'm hearing. I hear both ways. I hear that. All right, he should have got it, whatever. Because you never. If he have a great year, then they then he gonna outprice himself. So then, but it's then a I good also contract. heard right. But I right. But I also heard on the other end of it. The other end of the spectrum is like, what has he done to kid? Like they was they they was basically saying he's not even better than Cole Komet. Like why, why is he getting why why would you, why do we need these uh, He's talented. It, yeah. I, I would think it's my health. my concern would be his his brain. Yeah, his health. His, yeah, <laughs> like I mean, yeah, I, we can health. give you this money, but is your brain going to so, last this contract? Yeah. So Nick, he signed a four year, forty eight million dollar extension. Yeah, somebody with th- that type of concussion history to where you know when he gets concussions, he's out for multiple games, and you're worried, and you want to take it slow with him. And he has like seasons longs of, of history of concussions. That's it's a that's the price. thing. But they they were talk. They weren't even bringing up talent wise. It, it was it was production. I'm like, yo, no nah, talent wise. He injuries. Working. When you take injuries into account, yo, he and I know y'all call me stat man, but when it comes to contracts, stats is the biggest thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yo, he's top ten. Now he averages around. When you look at everything, he he's like top seven in this, top eight in that. So he's he about to be our second be leading like receiver. That's, that's my thing, too. No, no, that's my thing, too. I agree. Like, yo, I agree he, both of Go ahead, he's about ahead. to get the second most lion share of the targets this year just for the lack of wide receiver production, right? And yeah, I, I guess I agree with you, Nick. He's definitely the talent to the self. And I agree with you, just go like he, you know, his but when I think about tight ends, I need him, he can't block. You see what I'm saying? Like I he can't, like I need him. I need when I think about tight ends, I want him to be be able to do, I want him like he's not George Kittle. Of course, nah, no, no, no. But George, no, but George no. Kittle can do both. He's not. Yeah. They, I need. I need a tight end that can catch in today's game because you know you you're not. You don't want to have to spend all your money here and then still like the Ravens. Like we, our highest paid tight end can't do what the what the second tight end can do. So it's like you know 
he can't like that's why they brought in the other ten y'all drafted. Other no, they was yeah, 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 yeah. Donald Washington yeah. can block. He's he's the blocker like tight said, end yeah. where Pat where Pat is the catching tight end. I feel like mm-hmm. I want my tight end to be able to do both. To Key's I, point, to Key, I understand point, that. To that's Key's fair. point, we wouldn't see Patrick Ricard as much as we have in years past right. if if, yes, if Andrews was a better blocker, so to speak. Wouldn't see him at all. Or Charlie Cola. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that, like the, that's like definitely the, like the better. Like the better. To, like like if like, I mean, short short of short of you being like <laughs> a Tony a Tony Gonzalez, you know, like one of them where you don't have to block. Don't have know? to, right? Yeah, you don't. Yeah. You just don't have to. But order, hey, whatever, hey like. Keys. But to that point, yo, he might be in the slot a lot this year. Yeah, I mean, he's going. He's a listen, lot. In, in the offense, offense, he's going to eat. He's yeah, gonna eat. He and gonna that's probably why they paid him because the what they looking at like he's going to outprice himself. Depending in this offense, he's going to put up too many numbers for us to pay. At the end Twelve of the year, million four, a year, yeah, four years, forty-eight million. That he wouldn't, he he'd have got way more than that, probably. You know, if he hit the market after, after a good year, after he hit the market after a good year, like yo, uh, he he had sixty catches, seven hundred fifty yards last year with injuries. Yeah. So if he plays fifteen games at that rate, yeah, he's out of here. He's going to outprice himself. So I'm not mad at the contract. But I come in here, I say all that. I come in here and be a homer because it's like yo, damn, I don't want to be negative all the time. I don't want to be negative all the time. When it is time to be negative, I'll be negative. <laughs> and, 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 I don't want to be and, negative all the time. And Pat, like, and it's, easy, it's, it's hard enough on the blood pressure as is. I don't want to be negative. Pat and Cam should be thinking how you feel. They wouldn't have paid them if they got you. Neither one of them would have got paid. I mean, they nah, might have they might have been again, a workout cam. They might have been again. workout cam deal, but not. Yeah. Pat again, <laughs> somebody has to get the Brandon Ayuk money. Right. <laughs> Somebody had and happy. all year they say, "Yo, why aren't we spending money on offense? It's all defense." Well, you spent money on the tight end. Well, why'd you spend the money on the tight end? Yo, y'all make your mind up. Make mm-hmm. your mind up. So, I'm I'm not mad at that. Uh, with all that being said, uh, Homer time. We're coming out of Atlanta with a win. What's your score? What's your final score? I mean, I'm, I, it's not, that's not really being a homer. Like, that's really. Oh, okay. this game a toss up. Okay. Like, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's I gotta check if, the everything about it's a toss up. I gotta check the temperature. I ain't know only because Kirk Cousins. If, yeah, if yeah. Atlanta was like yeah, a juggernaut or not. He, okay. he coming up off season Achilles, sir. Nobody knows absolutely. Like, come absolutely. On, okay, cool. I I have less concern about that because he wasn't going to mm. be running his ass around anyway. Right. I don't have concerns right. about Aaron Rodgers either. Like them mm. niggas going. That's a good they point. Three step drop. They going. It ain't Jalen Hurts or Lamar Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's, That's a good true. point. Um, score is uh, score is going to be twenty one eighteen. See, my I'm about to get my predict. We giving predictions for the game now, right? Yeah, we start now. Yep. Um, I was on state. I was on Falcons all off season, coming into it. I would have been on, and I, and I would have been on, and I, and I would have been on the Falcons yeah. if 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 Russ was starting. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I would be like, I okay, <laughs> okay. I would have been because he he just, got sacked all he got sacked all game. He literally got yeah, sacked all game for sure. Um, so you said six be, and a half. It, no, I remember that. I, I remember yeah, that text yeah, message. Not, not, six not, and a half. If, if if it was Russ, yeah, but I, um, it's gonna be a home game. It's gonna be a Pittsburgh home game. That's the first thing. Um, Always, like Always. I said, I that that defense. I'm I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna go with the Steelers by three. Maybe yeah, like a yeah, same thing. Like a twenty to seventeen game. I don't think there's gonna be a house one game. Um, I, it's the first year in the offense for uh for Kirk and um with that weapon. They now don't be wrong. This is not gonna be an indicative on Pittsburgh or Atlanta season. Neither one of their no, seasons. No, 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 no. I just think that you know is. I think everything in favor of the Steelers for one going into this game, especially with Justin. I, I think they, even though as much as they say they want Russ, they name Russ a captain, Justin get his Pittsburgh Steelers the best chance to win right now. Yeah, no, nah, I respect that. Um, I think y'all got Atlanta fucked up, and I think y'all got Justin Fields fucked up too. <laughs> <laughs> I just said he was gonna be great. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, we give that nigga too much credit. That's he, 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 we didn't even and, give him a lot of credit. He's ten and twenty-eight. He's ten and twenty-eight his entire career. I don't think he gives sure. anybody the best chance to do anything. That's why I said seventy-five percent bad. I said seventy-five percent bad in Chicago. I didn't even I mean, say fast. I could be I could be a thousand percent wrong, but I I I believe that um once you take the the chains and shackles off the the skill players in Atlanta, you you have Bugattis and Lambos all all over the place. Like you have mm-hmm. a car park of exotic vehicles, and now you have somebody who's proven to get the most out of their players. Like you saw what Robinson did in other uh, situations. I mean. He's going to scheme J- Drake London open in ways Arthur Smith refused to do so. He's not going to be taking Bijan Robinson off the field in ways 
Arthur Smith refu- refused to keep him on the field. He uh, he uh the OC is 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 the guy from Robinson, Robinson. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. right, but, 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 but. yep. So Raheem Morris brought him over and, and a lot of other staff members from the LA Rams organization. So you have a whole organization full of McVay guys. Um, you have Raheem, who's not an idiot, right? He 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 said in his introductory press conferences, I don't know what they was doing before, but my playmakers gonna get the ball. And then you're talking about an improved defense. Mm-hmm. Uh yes, they'll be on the road, but I think the Steelers are the younger team. I think their defense is gonna be top three in the NFL. Don't get me wrong. The Steelers defense is going to make this a game. They're going to compete. They're going to do what they do. But on offense, what do the Steelers really have outside of being able to – we know they'll be able to ground and pound with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren just because of the scheme and just because of that's already in their DNA. Justin Fields is the question mark. Um, George Pickens as a one and not having help around him is a question mark. Van fucking Jefferson – is it's not even a question mark we already know the answer to that question yeah, okay man. yeah so it's like are they going to be able to put put up enough points i think atlanta is going to be able to with between Bijan, kyle drake and denzel mooney i think they're going to be able to to scrounge together some some drives okay kyle, kyle was hampered with a, with, with a hamstring so we'll see if he, he he's he's play. he's good to go he's, he's already off the injury go. report he's already off the injury report hey, that was that hey, was nothing hey p queen shut him down it's easy and then you talking about P Queen shutting somebody down? Like I don't know, bro. We'll see. Come on, Come on let's go. Because I tell you who look, I tell you who look worse than P Queen out there on a uh, on Thursday night. Was was Number zero. <laughs> I tell you, he looked bad. He looked yeah. bad. He P Queen can't be much worse than that. Yeah, but we and, talking and about debut. Patrick Mahomes. Y'all ain't gonna look too good against him either. Well, no. Nah, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that when Christmas comes. We'll talk about that when Christmas. <laughs> we got a long way to talk about that. We got long. Yo, my money in this before we get the key. Because I already you uh you picking Atlanta from what I, I can tell. So what's the score? Um twenty eight seventeen. Okay. I put a, a, every time I speak like this, I'm putting my money in, in, in on the defense and just need the offense to do to, to just carry a little bit of water. I think Atlanta gets a couple turnovers that helps their point total. I, I don't think that I don't think the defense uh allow, I'm allow to, to score twenty eight points. I think you know the offense is gonna hurt the defense in this matchup. I'm expecting our defense to set the tone and get some some early turnovers too. If I get That's the possible. so possible. yeah. Um, Keith, who you rolling with? Um, I'm going with Atlanta in this game too. If Keys would have went with Atlanta, I would have been with Houston. You, you know how we get we on that. <laughs> yeah, yo, like yo, but, Keith, yo, <laughs> Keys don't have to dictate this. You can just leave Nick out there alone, <laughs> no, right? But Please. aside from that, though, I, I I like I think I like what Atlanta got going on. Um. It's, it's not going to look like Arthur Smith's offense to the last few years. Um, yo, can y'all stop talking about my man like that, yo? Like, you was crazy. talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's my man right now. Like, right now. I think the, I he think wasn't my man, quarterback last year. For them now. my man like, yeah. No, Kurt. Uh, yeah. So, I, I, like, I think they're going to spread the ball. Obviously, you got Bijan in the backfield, Algier. Now, y'all defense is top tier. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think it probably is like a three-point game. But I, I, I'm, I'm going with the uh, Falcons in this game. I'm going to go. Falcons 24, Steelers 21. Okay. Okay. We all around the same outside of Nick had it at like a 10 points, but okay, cool. All right. Pick them starts now. Pick them starts now. First game up on the docket. We all one and one, right? Nah, I'm two and no. Oh, yeah. You picked the you picked the Chiefs yeah. and the Eagles. All right, bet, bet, yeah. bet. Who did I pick? For oh, the yeah. Packers. Did we pick the Packers? Yeah. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all picked the Eagles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm doing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, we cool. I'm not playing around. I don't know what Keith's I'm not, going over there. Yeah, I'm Keith, not. Yeah, man, Keith one and one. Yeah, I'm not playing around this year. Last year was an abomination. Like, I don't know what that I was. I, I know what it was. I'm not going to say it again. I know what it was. I wasn't right mentally. I'm good now. I'm good now. I'm here. Mind, body, and soul. I'm here. Cardinals, Bills. Cardinals Bills. on the road. One, two, three, Bills. Bills. Bills are six and a half points. Yeah. It's gonna be a good game, though. It's gonna be. A I want to see. I want to. They got Demar Hamlin out there on the field starting. I want to see how it, uh, Arizona can attack this different look of a secondary that the Bills are gonna put out there with Marvin yeah. Harrison Jr. Right. And Kyler coming. And, and Kyler. Kyler, Kyler, Kyler coming back. Healthy. You know he's more healthy than last year. So and the, and the Cardinals wasn't a bad team last year either. They, when he came back, no, no, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. When he came back. 
Am I going to pick them on the road to start this? Yeah, that's, what, that's what it is. Like, but they, they, it's going to be competitive. I think it's going to be a shootout because both mm-hmm. teams' defenses, I'm not – like the Cardinals didn't improve and the Bills didn't get better either. They lost a lot of people. So mm-hmm. I think it's going to be an offensive shootout, to be honest with you. I, I, I'm going to pick the home team, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pick the home. I like what the Bills have up the, the front four, but the linebackers and that, that secondary is completely different from last year. Completely different. It's not Yo, different. can I ask a question? And please don't please don't kill me for asking this question. <laughs> When did Demar Hamlin become like? When did it become safe to allow him to continue to play? Like when we saw what we saw, and then people were like shaming you for like wondering how it was going to affect the season or gambling or fantasy. Like I, we were getting shamed, and then now he's playing again. It's like, I yo, is it two safe? years, two years removed from death. You good? Death. Death, literally like, death. He didn't, he didn't get a heart yeah. transplant, did he? He got the same heart. I don't think he got a transplant, but they was definitely massaging that shit on some Grey's Anatomy, trying to massage that motherfucker back to life. I, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like. I I, I yeah. love the perseverance. I do not like the liability in this. And what? Oh, God man. forbid! Like we, if he wasn't that good before he scared. died, it's just too. Let, let's, let's be real. He wasn't that good. Before Y'all remember Isaiah Isaiah Austin coming out of what was it Baylor, mm-hmm. Hooper? Remember they he found the these hard, now. Yeah. They yeah, found yeah, yeah, hard yeah. conditions and they said no, sir. Right? NBA said no, sir. I don't care if you feel like you, you've been cleared by certain doctors. We're not taking that liability. You remember uh, Chris Bosh? They did it with Chris Bosh. They did it with Lamarcus uh, Aldridge. Aldridge, too, didn't Aldridge. Aldridge. Um, it was a hooper for Florida that transferred to K State, but he took like a yeah, year Keontae. Now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Keontae. Same thing. It's same it's, thing. It's um, it's just scary liability, and to see it go that far. Because we didn't see Isaiah Austin, and we didn't see the worst case scenario with that. We didn't see the worst case scenario with Chris Bosh. We saw the worst case scenario on primetime television. Bro. Yeah, a lot of them dudes had blood clots too. Demar's heart stopped. I just it stopped. I, yeah, but I don't want to take it there, but it, I had to say it, bro. It was hey, on my chest. I put to you like this though: if you want to put him out there as safety, by all means. But it's gonna be a point in time where I stop picking y'all because of it, <laughs> right? Because like he gonna be he gonna be Swiss cheese. His defense gonna be switchy. He's gonna have a lot of holes in, it. just like he like the six man. What was that movie with Marlon Wayne? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be sitting at the top of the goalpost like yo. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> y'all ain't y'all ain't right here. Y'all ain't right. I wouldn't have done that if I was you. Oh man! Got <laughs> turn your hips the other way, dog. You you covered that completely, bro, from the goalpost. Yo, can you know how you you know how nasty it's gonna be if Marvin Harrison with Marvin Harrison? <laughs> <if Marvin, laughs> yo, yo, you know how you know how nasty Twitter gonna be if Marvin Harrison beat four sixty yard touchdown. People gonna be on there saying like, I wish you would have, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh they already they, they, oh they said that. They said that when they ran the fake punt. They said that when they ran the fake punt last year in the, uh, in the division. Uh, it's gonna get nasty. I ain't forget they ran that fake punt for you. They tried to wrap up that comeback player of the year. That's what that was. That was that, that's exactly what that was. Yo, yo, we yo, Joe Flacco out here balling. We need to wrap this up, yo. That was a make a wish play right there. You don't do that. He'll make a, <laughs> he'll make yo, a wish yo, play. Yo. That was a make a wish play. McDermott said, What you want for Christmas? <laughs> Run the fake punt, coach. <laughs> Nigga, get out of here. Yo, the tin man. All he wants is a heart. <laughs> that's he the tin yeah. man. He asked the wizard of he asked the wizard of uh McDermott. Yo, I just want a heart. Uh, man, let me saw Josh, all right, all right, Josh all right, Allen right. walking into his hospital room. Right. <laughs> it was over. It was over. Oh man! Hey, y'all think man, I can get the ball when I come back? <laughs> Anything for you, kiddo. Yeah, treat that nigga like you, Rudy. For you. Yeah, really. <laughs> stop, yo! Stop, yo! Stop. Nah, they're gonna be killing you if he get burnt. You right? For, for, oh, for a, a game, like a game in the play. Oh my god! I, I, I feel he probably retired. <laughs> uh, everybody picking the bills, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee Titans travel to Chicago to take on the Bears. Kayla Williams' first game. All right, let's get this back. Let's get this back on the rails. All right, Kayla Williams' first game at home against the Titans. Will Levis. Um, you got DeAndre. You got DeAndre Hopkins playing through a torn MCL. Uh, what is this game going to look like? Damn, already. He had it in August, apparently. Uh, 
He got that in the summer. He plant? Uh, yeah, he said he's gonna try to play through it. But, I mean, all right, they got buddy. Tyler Boyd and um Calvin Ridley, just in case he could be a decoy. Yeah, I don't know how much of a decoy you are if you're telling me you got a torn MCL two days before the game. But yeah, yeah. it's it's always tough picking up the pick on week. We don't know what the defense is gonna be like. Right, exactly. You know, nah, I mean, I'm just going with the home team best. Um, I think they got a, a lot. They got a lot of weapons also. Um, and I'm looking to see what Caleb Williams going to do. Um, we didn't see Levis. I mean, he's been good. He's been bad. So I guess I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the best at home. I don't know how much they're gonna win by. Um, Kenny Allen is he playing? He questionable, right? He's questionable. Of course he's questionable. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, he. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna go with the best at home just just because this I really had no basis on why for real. Right? Week one, week one pick them terrible. Yeah, I like the yeah. best at home too. I think the best defensively. I mean, you talk about sweat up front, um, the corner Johnson. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, Jalen, yeah, Jalen, yeah. Um, I think they defensively. I mean, I think they're gonna be able to to generate pressure and get to Levis. I don't know how many weapons Levis even really has on that offense to throw to. Who was a wide receiver on the Titans? To be honest with you, Traylon really Burks still there. Board. Oh yeah, that's He's right. Really born. still there, but yeah, yeah, I mean, really, really was mid last board. year in Jacksonville too. Um, I just think Chicago got the weapons, especially if they decide to trust DeAndre Swift and really just hand the ball off, um, keep Caleb in some short down situations. I think he'll make the right plays. I don't think it's a blowout game. Like I think Tennessee might cover the three and a half, but uh, I like the Bears to win. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. I like the Bears too, um, mainly because on the de- defensive side of the ball, they're just an underrated unit. And uh, I, I think that offense uh, is going to be able to uh, make some plays uh, in, in week one as far as Caleb Williams. Uh, I think his escapability and his 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 ability to improvise is going to be something that translates from week one on. And with the weapons that he has, the IQ, um, DJ Moore got, just got 80 some odd million dollars. So you already know he's going to be heavily involved. Uh, Rome is going to be Caleb's favorite target just because they have that rookie to rookie connection, sort of similar, you know, CJ Stroud and Tank Dell, regardless of who's on the roster, like you're my rookie and we're coming into this together. We have the most chemistry I've been throwing to you since rookie mini camp. You know, we're just going to do the first round picks together. It's just that, that relationship is just a little different. Uh, and I do think the Titans are going to, make this a a ball game i don't think they're a third team i just think they're a young team um and not as ready to to i think i think chicago might be able to compete for a playoff spot this year that's just before week one before i see it in action but i think they'll be able to compete for a playoff spot i think they're a little further ahead of the titans timeline so i got the bears Uh, all right one two three let's go i got the bears too moving on texans colts it's in it's Indy, right? It's in Indy. Houston is a three-point favorite. It's going to be a close-ass game. It's going to be a good game. This might be one of the better games of the weekend. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm interested to see what Richardson has coming back off injury. The Colts going to be able to run the ball. They're going to be able to run yeah, all of us down. They do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you, 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 you hopefully see Jerry Charles is picking up where he pick where he where he picked up yesterday. I'm mean, last year. Sorry. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna go with you know. It's, it's tough to pick on the road in week one, like. It won't be tough for me. I'm going with the Texans. Going with the Texans. Yeah, um, I'm going with the better quarterback. Yeah, uh, the, the Colts not no slouch defensively. Either. No, they not. They not. And, 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 and to Nick' point on, I guess the last show was divisional. Um, is it, a divisional game week one. I, I'm like I'm gonna go with the Texans because I, I I think you know they they are they they ready they ready for this moment. They they know what they have. Um, and like I said, we we still see Anthony Richards come back off the of injury. Um, so the Texans are the better team. It's just going to be tough. It's going to be week one divisional. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the Texans. To me, if this is a close game, I, I think Anthony Richardson makes that mistake before C.J. Stroud to take his team out of it. That's a good point. I, I, I got I got to be in a very close game. I got. I think the only difference is uh, the Texans, C.J. Stroud, and just the weaponry he has. As far as when they will need to make a play, I think they'll just be able to make a play more consistently. And uh, something surprising. I mean, Anthony Richardson only has seventeen mm-hmm. starts since, since high school. Since high that. school, hell yeah. yeah. 
So that doesn't tell me that he can protect himself and stay healthy. So, you know, when he was on the field last year, he was not only electric, but he gave them a great chance to win. Now, mind you, they were a a fringe playoff team regardless, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, he gave them an extra little wiggle out there. So he's going to have to keep himself healthy and available. And, you know, when you hear 17 games since high school, that just doesn't, it just doesn't give you confidence that at any given game, he's going to keep himself healthy and available. So I say all that to say the the easier bet is the Texans, even though, you know, Texans Colts over the years, that has, that's been a toss up. They play each other hard. The AC South, they all play each other hard. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be a great game. Like he said, but I got the Texans. Yeah. I like the Colts. Oh, he, Oh, okay. I see what kind of time he on. Yeah. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, if you want to start off last week, hey, that's fine. I'm gonna let you. I don't want enough times. Help. If I get the last push, it ain't none. It oh, listen to him. Listen to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. See? See? That's y'all man. That's y'all man. <laughs> I'm time two time that's y'all man. Yeah, I done got it two times. <laughs> Keep two times is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> two times. All right. My man. Jaguars, dolphins. Golfers are another great game. Yeah. Miami, yes, man. That's some good games to start off. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Miami. Um, but I don't like I said I, the, the, the Jaguars gonna be able to put up some points on them, just like to uh just like the Cardinals Bills game. This game might turn out to a shootout. Mm-hmm. It, it, it might turn out to a lot of those games, and mm-hmm. I think the Dolphins just got better weapons. So they 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 should be able to score more points. But they I mean they got the players defensively, but they ain't really the Dolphins are not really solid defensive. They just got good players, <laughs> you know, individual players at each level. Um, but as far as scheme concerned, I don't think the Dolphins are that good defensively. Yeah, I don't. But give me them though in a, in a in a in a shootout game. Definitely give me the Dolphins in a September game in Miami. Yeah, right. yeah, for sure. Perfect as, conditions for them. And as far as Jacksonville is concerned, I think they're gonna. I think there's gonna be some positive regression like I, I like not regression but i think there's going to be like regression to the mean like there were so many touchdowns that calvin really got one foot in bounds on last year that were just wiped off the board just because he's you know just because he couldn't get his feet in bounds like his college or something where one foot is is going to get you the score uh so that kind of skewed not only his numbers but trevor lawrence's numbers as well i think if you just get some some people that haven't gambled on football, haven't had time away from football and like know to get your feet in bounds. I think the offense is going to look a lot better. Um, Brian Thomas, look out for him. Christian Kirk looked great as their primary target last year. Evan Ingram had over a hundred catches, Travis Etienne. So they're going to have some, some opportunities to do what they need to do. I just think uh, Mike McDaniel in September uh, and Tyreek Hill in September, fresh hamstrings, fresh soft tissues. It's going to be too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the Dolphins too. One, two, three, let's go. Panthers travel to New Orleans to take on the Saints. What? Saints are four point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the Saints. One, two, three, let's go. Vikings, Giants. Turd first fest of the fest. week. First turd fest. First turd fest. Uh, give me the. <laughs> Yeah. It's tough. I mean, you want to pick the Vikings, but you, yeah, I'm gonna say you want to pick the Vikings. It's still tough though. Like, that, yeah, that, that, the Giants' defense still gonna show up against Sam, oh, Sam Donald. Mm-hmm. So it's like, no, yeah, give me the G man. Yeah, I, I'm leaning towards the Giants also for the. Home. I'm give me Day Ball. That's what I'm. Give me Day Ball. Yeah, that's what I, I'm. I, I got. I got enough. I, I got enough confidence. Day Ball. He can put the game plan. I like the other side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yo, Connell, cool. Yeah, yo, Connell, cool. Give me, give me Burns and Thibodeau. On the edges, yeah. Give me, give me the Giants. Give me the we Giants. in Waikiki. We in Waikiki, baby. I like it. Okay, Vikings for Vikings for Nick. Yeah, yeah. Give me Justin. I'm glad he got paid before all this quarterback shit happened. You go into a contract year with that. Oh man. Oh my Trading. god. <laughs> Trade me to the Steelers. See, we think about Steelers. <laughs> Raiders, Chargers. Jim Harbaugh, first game back in the league after cheating at Michigan and good things like that. Um, uh, give What's me the, the line? Game. You ain't trying if you ain't cheating. Three. That is true. Three Chargers. Because they home. Yeah, because they home. But um, 
it's going to be a tight game, in my opinion. Antonio Pierce got had the Raiders playing different last year towards the yeah. end. Who's that quarterback? Aiden O'Connell? Mm-mm, Not so even Gardner. Gardner, Michigan. Yeah, give me the Raiders. Gardner, Michigan. Yeah. Marginally better, yeah. Yeah, just uh, the Raiders by a, a, a field. I mean, like I said, just the Raiders. I, just, I think, like you said, he got the plan better. Um, nice. New regime under with the Chargers. Who who knows what they got on the outside? Um, this 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 is tough. This is one of them tough. I mean, tough matter of fact, let, I'm, I'm gonna pick the Chargers. They home. Give me the Chargers. They home. Actually, give me the Chargers because I just feel like they'll be better. Like they'll have a better CEO at the helm. Yeah, and they'll make better decisions uh, situationally to help them get a win. But it's yeah, I like cool. the Chargers. They're going to control the clock. They're going to pound the ball. They're going to run it. And if Herbert just got to make a couple plays, I mean, he, he don't got to be a superhero no more. He got to run game. So I'm going with I'm going with the Chargers. I think they're still better than Gardner Minshew and what the Raiders can put out offensively. Yeah, give me the Chargers. I like hey, that. Especially without no Josh Jacobs back there no more. If Devontae Adams can be pissed off and be traded midseason, <laughs> to, you know, a team that needs a wide receiver, I will pick against the Raiders all year. You think he's going to want to leave his situation to go to y'all quarterbacks? Yeah. Valid question. Look at you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I thought about it too. Yes. <laughs> Who are you taking, Scott? Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> Charles. Say, say less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles. Broncos. Seahawks. Seahawks. Oh, Knicks. Bo Nix at the helm against a Mike McDonald led defense. Should be in, interesting. In Seattle, right? In Seattle. Yeah, give me the Seahawks. In Seattle. So I yeah, think, yeah, I, I think I, I think I go go with Seattle. I think Denver might surprise some just because Sean Payton got his his pick of the litter as opposed to having an inherent Russell Wilson. That's his guy. Yeah. He hated Russell Wilson. Like he hated him as a person. I do like, too. he just <laughs> I used to. I'm still there. I, like, I'm I'm like still 75 percent there. Like, he's Sierra's husband. That's way commercial did it for me, yeah. You know what did it for me? Buster Rhymes and Janet Jackson. Who runs that house? A man does not say I agree to this. Hey, hey. hey. throw this on, chump. Yeah, tell me what okay. to do. Okay. <laughs> When we put it, I'm yours. <laughs> when you put it like that, <laughs> allegedly, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the Seahawks, <laughs> Seahawks for sure. But they high on Bo Nix, they high yeah. on Bo Nix. I'm interested to see what you're gonna do. I think they're gonna yeah. cover that five and a half. I really want to pick them, but I'm gonna go Seattle. Nah, I don't nah. think the Seahawks gonna be that good. Not nah, two times. Nah. Seattle, yeah. Seattle gonna try to run that ball, they're gonna try to run that pill. I'm just curious how it's gonna. I'm curious how that wide receiver room is going to look, the target uh, discrepancy, whether they're going to try to get Metcalf the ball more, JSN, he's he's on the ascension. I don't know if they're going to try to, like, make him the number one. It's going to be interesting to see how that, that works out. Yeah, that's my early fantasy stardom, Jackson Smith, because uh, apparently I don't know if Tyler Lock is hurt, but if he is, then you already you already know, so – yeah. But yeah, I'm 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 interested to see how this plays out. But home team week one, I'm going Seahawks. Everybody, Seahawks. Yeah. One, two, three, let's go. Cowboys travel to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Uh, first before we get started, Deshaun Watson, rest in peace, your father. Yeah, um, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace, your father. That. He's playing, playing with right? a right. He's playing, playing with a heavy heart. We've seen this before. Uh, Brett Favre, we, we, that can motivate you to. Uh, Play the game of your life. Browns also feel the should be a league's top defense. I like the Browns in this game at home, especially. I mean, even if C D Lamb, I mean he'll play, I'm sure. But I mean, he just I don't know if that Dallas offense is gonna really be in sync given the time off. Um they now I like no Cleveland. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I about yeah, to like running game. game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Game. So I'm a, I'm gonna go with Cleveland in this game. I think they covered it two and a half too. This is a tough game to pick, also though. Yeah, um, Dallas is down the starting corner. He's out for eight weeks, so not bland, though, right? Nah, it is bland. Wait, yeah, give, me the, give me the Browns. It's bland. It is bland. Jerry Judy time. Jerry Judy time. Yeah, give me the Browns. The Cowboys look seem like they bank they too banged up for this game. Yeah, Jerry Judy time. Give me the Cowboys 
only because Joe Flacco is not on the roster and Deshaun Watson wasn't the one that made the playoff run. I like that. Who you took keys? I took the Browns, but I mean that Cowboy, that's a good yeah. pick though, because you got you gotta think about Michael Parsons. They stick they don't get after him. You know what, Nick? I haven't I, seen his shoulder throw a football either. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm going with the Cowboys. It's gonna I be tough like, on the road, but yeah, it's so gonna be tough. Stop thinking the Browns to your little bro. They not little bro no more to you. Yo, as long as Deshaun Watson there, I ain't never gonna think <laughs> nothing of them. They were nothing. Think last year if y'all ain't blow out Chubb knee. He still had another chance to beat us too, and he didn't. I mean, not at that point he wasn't beating him. He didn't beat us when he was in Houston. I've never seen Deshaun Watson win a game with my eyes watching. <laughs> he beat Joe. He beat Joe. So he looked like Clemson. Oh, he looked yeah. like oh, Clemson. Yeah. Deshaun did. Watson did. against Joe. What you mean? He did. God against, damn it. Against us though? Nah, I ain't never seen it. But I am going yeah, to. Yo, all y'all my little bros, yo. <laughs> y'all just a little bro that got a good job. Like y'all went to college, got a PhD. Like yo, my little bro, he doing good out here, y'all. I'm happy for him. When I see him at Thanksgiving, I still got smack him upside his head, though. <laughs> still got smack him upside his head. Boy, I'm proud of you. <laughs> That's how I look at y'all. <laughs> y'all mid season form. I couldn't wait for this. I couldn't wait for this. Yeah, I got the Cowboys. So all right, fifty fifty on that one. Commandos, Buccaneers. Give me the bucks. Mm. Give me a bucks. Only because it's they starting. To, I mean, I, I don't know what Washington's gonna be. I, they, they, new, give new me quarterback, the new coach, new coach, new quarterback. I'm buying the height. Give me the commanders. Okay. What's this Bucks defense like again? This ain't your oh your 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 grandfather's Buccaneers defense. Uh, it's a lot of change over. They lost Devin White. Still got, one, still got one. Still got one. Still, 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 still got one. Still got one. Field. Pay him playing like that. Devin White won't have no spot in Philly. Yeah, the Kobe Dean was flying around. He's flying around last night. He looked good. What's the matchup against Go? Sorry, I was saying. Commanders, Bucks. Oh, yeah, Commanders, Bucks. Give me the Bucks. Give me the Bucks. I think the Commanders, I, I think they're going to be much improved this season. I kind of like Jaden Daniels. There's something about him that I saw in preseason. And and, and albeit, I, I want to, like, temper my expectations. But I think he's the real deal. Yeah, I think he's the real deal. They, they uh, how on him. Really high on him, but first game rookie on the road that's gonna be tough. So, so, so give me the bucks, give me the bucks, Keith. You really like Hawaii, don't you? Comfortable yeah. there, yeah, comfortable there. All right, hope you get stranded there like an episode of Lost. <laughs> <laughs> Rams, Lions, good game. This could go either way. This could go either way. One of the uh, games of the week for sure. Yeah, this is Keith Lee. He's just like Keith. Who you got? Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. D time. Yeah, I got the Rams. Detroit. I got the Rams written down. Give me the Rams. Uh, okay, okay, okay. He read my mind. Okay, I thought we was going. I thought I was going to be in the island. Give me the Lions. I'm with Keith. That never really works out well. But yeah, I'm, I'm All right, come on, Keith. Fuck it. Let's go Rams. <laughs> <I'm with laughs> so you, you went Rams. Yeah. Who What's the Rams talking? defense going to be like? No, no, Aaron Donald. Same way it was like last year, opportunistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same. I mean, this. I mean, you know, you can run and do whatever on that Detroit defense too. Yeah. This is gonna go to a fourth quarter game. It's just gonna be who makes the mistake. That's all. Big plays. Big plays on both sides. Wait, was this 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 is a a playoff rematch, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Stafford versus Golf. That didn't disappoint the first time. I think it's gonna go to the go to the wire. That was as build as build. All right. Last game, Monday night. We got the 49ers. Jets. For, oh, shit. Okay. Jets 49ers. Ooh, snap. <laughs> Damn. I couldn't even get like the, the game out. I like the 49ers, too, though. <laughs> I, I, I like all the – I definitely like all the Jets hype. I do, but I got to say it first. I'm not picking them against the 49ers. I like the Jets hype. Like you said, we, we covered them before. I think defensively they're going to be top three. Um, Aaron Rodgers, he don't we, – we'll, hopefully he get back to regular form. But I'm, I'm going to go with the, the 49ers here. And Brandon, I, they have a 152-tug game. Sco, what you thinking, yo? You thinking I'm what think- I'm thinking? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm looking at Bosa, Hargrave, and all of them. I'm testing out that Achilles. Yeah, he don't move, but you better get your you better micro you better be microdosing right now. 
my boy. <laughs> Honolulu. Honolulu. <laughs> Honolulu. <laughs> yes. I think this is going to be a, a this is a good chance to go on the island. Give me the Jets. I think the it's emotions. I think the emotions of having Aaron back, that defense, being able to know that they have an offense that isn't led by Zach Wilson. Like yeah. we forget how dominant that defense is. It's Kept just a you, lot you, of game you, you just can't show it when your quarterback is three and out, eighty five percent of the drives. So, give me the Jets only because y'all picked uh, the Forty Nine ers. Who do you put sauce on in this in this game? I put them on IU. I'm putting them on IU because again, yeah. Debo. You, I'm not. Nobody's scared of Debo break, beating you vertically. Debo's nah. issue is like he can be used so versatile, yeah, such in a versatile way. Like, yeah, yeah, once he touched the ball, it's you like, gotta you gotta tackle him once you get the ball. But covering, yeah. I'm worried about IU because that's the dude. That's the traditional receiver. And then you know, how do, who else are you gonna like? Yo, they have options to put. They, they can Christian McCaffrey. We're gonna test that. Is he playing? Out too. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a he. He says he's a hundred percent, but you might have to test that calf out. It's gonna be a great game because you got Brees Hall on the other side. Ain't no whores on the other side. Nah, nah. They, going? they. It's gonna be Mike Williams game. as the number two. Ain't no whores on the other side. He just gotta stay healthy. Nobody carry out an American flag on the Jets. Don't do it. <laughs> Bad omen. Bad omen. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I don't even think Aaron Rodgers like. Don't even I don't even show him pregame. Him. Like don't even show him in the tunnel. Nothing. Just under just, center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He playing. Check you. Check you out. <laughs> um. All right. That's 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 the first pick. Em. Good luck. Good luck to all. Do we want to go around the horn and give a fantasy? Sure. Must yeah, yeah start. we definitely can do that. Um, I'll start first because I already gave mine. I, I think I think Jackson Smith and Jigba is gonna have a a big game. I think he's gonna have a big season. I think he's gonna have a big season. I'm not gonna tell you to make him wide receiver one or two, but I, I definitely think he's a guy you can flex and get big production from. Uh, I got two names. Um, first name Josh Palmer on the Chargers. I think he has a good opportunity to uh, at least to start the season, lead the team in targets. Uh, as he has the most familiarity with Herbert out of the current receivers. Um, he's not named Quentin Johnson, who can't catch a football as a paid wide receiver in the NFL. And uh, McConfrey is just going to, it's going to take uh, a little while for him to get going and to kind of uh, reach the top of that depth chart. So give me Josh Palmer to start. I think he's a sneaky flex play, uh, especially considering where he was drafted in most leagues. And then also, um, who was that? Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin yeah. on the Bucks. Uh, his he, his offensive coordinator, new offensive coordinator, has already stated that they want to get him back into the slot full time. You know, the last couple of seasons he's been you know outside and in the slot. I think his best seasons in the NFL were when he was a hundred percent in the slot. They have a, a young receiver. Forget his name. Forget his first name. But McMillan is his last name and. Uh, He's another receiver that they like a lot, but he's going to be able to uh, play outside along with Mike Evans, which will allow Chris Godwin to free up in the inside. When he's on the inside, he's a different player. So um, I think he'll be sneaky uh, to start the season. Like that, like that. Keith? Yeah, um, I'm going to go with Garrett Wilson uh, of the Jets. Uh, Big start for me this week. Um, As you know, he's had two 1,000 yard two consecutive 1,000-yard seasons with who knows who was his quarterback. So with the addition of Aaron Rodgers, I'm thinking it's definitely a breakout year, a big-time year for Garrett Wilson. Um, now, the 49ers, they they put Charlie Various Ward. That's their number one corner. That's probably who he'll match up with opposite. But Garrett Wilson, he's just a technician. I just think he has the ability to get open and make big plays. And with a guy who can really get him the arm, that, really give him the ball now, I think, it, I think the sky's the limit. Uh, my other start this week is Marvin Harrison Jr., although he is a rookie. Um, I love the matchup against the Bills. I don't really think they have anyone on the outside that can that can you got the Mario. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who uh, we talked about Yeah, but um I like that. I think Kyler Murray gonna get right. Um 
I love what the head coach did with them last year. The Cardinals was one of those teams that I think people just thought they was going to roll over for 18 weeks, and they came out and they really punched teams in the mouth for 18 weeks and, and went down fighting. So with Kyler back, I think he's going to be looking at Marvin Harrison Jr. a lot. He's finally got him somebody on the outside who's shifty, who can run every route in the book. So those are my two stars this week at the wide receiver position. I'm going Garrett Wilson and Marvin Harrison Jr. I like it. I like it. Let's uh, go to that last commercial break. Nitty Gritty. Hey, yo, Nitty Gritty Sports Talk is now on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And while you at it, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Name the same across all platforms. Nitty Gritty Sports Talk. Three Ravens and a Steeler. Now let's get back to the show. Good show, fellas. Good show. Man, it's good to have football back. Good to have football back. Uh, I want everybody to enjoy all the games. If you indulge in college, it's going to be a good slate for that, too. And good week of NFL football to start. A lot of good games, not a lot of turds to start off. So, hey, we'll be back on Monday, same place, same time. Until then, everybody stay safe and be blessed. We out. Don't use